guys so five seconds before i sat down to film this video this nail polish chipped isn't that beautiful i've had 17 cups of coffee so today's video is part two in my holy grail little two-part little series i will link monday's video below i talk about all my holy grail products um, from the drugstore today's video is strictly high-end holy grails so i'm gonna go in each category like Favorite foundation, concealer, blush, bronzer, I'm doing all categories. And before I get into this video, I do want to mention something. This video is extra exciting for me because it is a collab with my friend Jamie here on YouTube. Her YouTube channel is Jamie Page Beauty. I will link her channel down below. I asked her to collab with me because she's fantastic. She has such a good channel. You know like when you come across some YouTubers and you're like, wow, this is a great channel. That's how I feel. That's weird. But that's how I feel about Jamie. She puts so much time and effort into her channel. She's just really informative as well. I love watching her videos. And we talk all the time. She actually helps me out a lot with my channel because I don't know how to edit very well. I don't know how to do anything. And she helps me. So thank you, Jamie. You are the best. Please subscribe to her channel and let her know that I sent you. I will link it below. And like I said in my other video, I have a lot of makeup. And the fact that these are my true standout must-haves says a lot. So, let's jump in. My first category is primer. I'm starting out with face products first. And it honestly was a toss-up between these two. I could not pick which one my favorite was. This is the Too Faced Hangover RX or Hangover X Replenishing Face Primer. This is so great. I love this. This is my second bottle. It has coconut water, probiotics, and it's silicone-free. This is a great primer if you have dry skin because it just feels like you're putting on a moisturizer, but it sinks in so fast. It just makes my skin feel incredible. I love how foundation applies right on top of this. I wouldn't say that this prolongs my makeup that much, but I do find that makeup generally lasts longer if I'm putting a good base down. So I love this. It's amazing. And I had to mention this one as well because I've used this one a ton. It's also a big favorite of mine. It is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer in Radiance. This one is just like a white consistency that blends out into nothing. It pretty much looks like a moisturizer. This is like a very shimmery, champagne, glowy kind of primer. I find that my foundation might look a little bit too flat or too matte. I like to apply this one first because it just makes everything nice and glowy. So for my next category, it's foundation. If you've been following me for a while, you know my favorite foundation. It is hands down the Makeup Forever Face and Body Foundation. I don't really use this too much like on my channel because I try to rotate throughout all of my foundations because honestly, I could get rid of every single foundation and only keep this. This one and the Makeup Forever Ultra HD and the Makeup Forever Stick. I feel like Makeup Forever makes amazing foundations, but this one is definitely my all-time favorite. Whenever I go to events or whenever I go out, anytime I need to be somewhere important, like not the grocery store, I will put on the Makeup Forever Face and Body and I always get complimented on my skin. Especially from a lot of subscribers when I meet subscribers like at Generation Beauty or Fame Expo, I'm always like, wow, your face doesn't look cakey like at all. It looks like you barely have any foundation on. And it's because this stuff is Flawless. It's amazing. You can put 37 layers of this and it will never look cakey. It's a very, very sheer coverage. This is very similar to the MAC Face and Body Foundation, but that one broke me out really bad. It's very liquidy. It's pretty much like 80% water. I'm not exactly sure, but that's what it feels like anyway. I don't like to use this with a beauty blender because I find that it just soaks up into my beauty blender. So I always use it with this brush right here. This is my favorite brush to apply it. It is the E6 by Morphe. I have just one layer of this all over my face and you could see like my skin, like my vein right here. My skin does peek through. If I want more coverage, I'll just put on like three or four layers and it just does not look bad. This photographs really well and it lasts decades on my skin. It's like the most long wearing foundation. Oh, I have nothing bad to say. It comes in a pump. It's amazing. It's so good. So now let's go to concealer and this one might shock a lot of you because I never use this on my channel, but I have just discovered recently that this is by far my favorite high-end concealer and it is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I used to be like, ah, you know what, I like my Maybelline Fit Me More, blah, blah, blah. No, this is, this is my favorite and I know that in my yearly favorites I spoke about the Urban Decay Naked Skin. That is my second favorite concealer of all time and I thought for a while that that was number one but I've just realized that I grabbed this one 
way more than I grabbed that one. And that, that has to tell me something. <laughs> I always keep this in my travel makeup bag or in my purse. That's why I really don't use it on camera, but this is the concealer I use the most. I just bought a brand new bottle because I just finished it, but I just love the finish. That's what I love about it most. This is the concealer I take with me every time I travel. Generation Beauty, any of those events, I'm always wearing NARS Radiant Creme Concealer. It's my favorite. For powder, my favorite high-end powder was the Charlotte Tilbury Micro Smooth one. That was like my favorite for a while. And it's still amazing. That's like a really great powder foundation. But this is just my favorite. I spoke about it recently, but this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Airbrush Silk Pressed Finishing Powder. I just find that it sets my under eye concealer so beautifully. It sets my makeup so beautifully. I'm not exactly sure if this gives me a white cast. I actually don't think it does. I've never noticed in photos, but whenever my pores just look really large, this takes it away instantly. It like makes my pores invisible and no other powder does that for me. This will just like erase them. It's insane. Okay, so my favorite, favorite, favorite high-end bronzer has to be the Girl Lactic Matte Bronzer in the shade Cabo. This is the bronzer I'm wearing on my face right now. I just love how buttery it is. It's so easy to blend. Even if I don't set my foundation, sometimes bronzer will skip over it. And this one doesn't do that because it's just so smooth and creamy and it just blends really nicely. I love everything about it. They also have a different shade in Casablanca, but that one is a little bit warmer. This one is a little bit more neutral. Casablanca? I said Casablanca. <laughs> okay, so blush. That is the next category. Can you guess what my favorite blush is? I've mentioned it about a million times, I know, but this is the best. This is my favorite. This is the NARS blush in the shade Madly. This is one of those blushes that swatches so basic. Like when you swatch this on the back of your hand, you're like, what? Is, this is really not that great. But putting it on your cheeks, it's beautiful. I have a little bit on my face today. I just added like a little bit of blush. As usual, I never go like too ham on the blush. This complements every look, in my opinion. Like, you can have a smoky eye, a very natural eye, and it goes with everything. It's my travel buddy. I always take this with me when I travel. It's my favorite blush. It's so beautiful. And I have, like, a million blushes, so that's saying a lot. Okay, the highlight category. It was really hard for me to decide because I have so many highlights I love, but this, hands down, has to be my favorite. This is the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in the shade 01 Highlight. And it says it's matte, but it's not. It's the highlight I'm wearing on my face right now. I prefer kind of like pearly champagne shades over like intense gold shades. I find them a little bit more flattering on my skin tone. I always recommend this one if you are someone who has like really textured skin or you have very large pores. Highlight emphasizes all of that on your face. Like when you put it on your face, you always see like the little pimples or any texture on your face. This one doesn't really do that. It's the smoothest highlight I own. I don't know if it's because it's like a matte highlight even though it has a glow. It just doesn't emphasize all the nasty like texture I have on my skin. Okay, so let's move on to the eyes. Actually, let's move on to eyebrows. In my opinion, when it comes to brows, I think you cannot go wrong with Anastasia Beverly Hills. I feel like Anastasia makes the best brow products. I really love their brow gel, their clear brow gel, their tinted brow gel. I love their brow wiz. I've been using the brow wiz since I was like 17 or 18. I've been using it for years. But my favorite has to be the brow definer. It's actually her newest product, so I haven't really been using it like for so long, but I find that it's so easy to fill in my brows. I like a little bit more of a bolder brow, and this one just lasts on my brows all day, and it gets the job done so fast. So the Anastasia Brow Definer is my favorite. My favorite eye primer is definitely the MAC Prep and Prime 24 Hour Extended Eye Base. Out of all the primers I've ever used, this one just keeps my eyeshadow in place the longest, and it prevents creasing. It makes my eyeshadows look intense. It has kind of like a tacky finish, so eyeshadows just stick to it so well. I love everything about this. This really does last a really long time. What is my favorite eyeshadow palette? If you have been watching me for any amount of time, you know that it is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I have so many palettes. I have a whole drawer full of palettes, and this one is my favorite. I just recently bought a new one because mine was so beat up and janky that I wanted to replace it. I will link tutorials using this down below. I actually think that I 
just posted one. You can get so many different looks out of this, something a little bit more smoky, something a little bit more natural. I'm more of a natural eyeshadow wearer, so this is my favorite. I'm actually wearing some of these eyeshadows today, and it smells like vanilla cocoa. It smells so good. It's definitely my favorite one out of all the chocolate bar palettes that Too Faced has. Okay, let's talk about eyeliners. I have two different eyeliners to share with you guys. One is a liquid eyeliner and one is just a regular pencil liner. This to me is the best liquid liner high-end ever. I lost this for months and I recently found it again and I'm so happy because it's seriously fantastic. It is the most matte liquid liner I know, aside from the NYC liquid liner that's super matte, but I really don't like the brush on that one. I find it really hard to use. This one has a super, super thin little brush. You can get the perfect, perfect little flick, and it's so matte. I don't really like a glossy eyeliner. This one is amazing. And then for a regular pencil eyeliner, the MAC Eye Cull in Costa Riche is my favorite eyeliner of all time. I've gone through like three of these. I've been wearing it since I was like 16 years old. I just really love how it makes my eyes look. It makes them look a little bit more green. It's a warm brown, but it's it's stunning. I love it. And then my favorite mascara when it comes to high end, I really could not decide. So I'm just gonna talk about both of them really quick. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is a great volumizing mascara. It can get a little bit flaky, so I don't really use this one on my lower lashes, but it makes my eyelashes look so voluminous. And my other favorite, and I think that I might like this one just a little, I don't know, I might like this one a hair more. This is the Benefit Roller Lash. I find that it really keeps my eyelashes curled all day and it gives me a lot of length and volume. I actually have a mixture of these two on my eyes today. I didn't know what to say for lip liner because I have so many different lip liners that I love from so many different brands. So I can't sit here and tell you this one is my all time favorite. But I really love the Makeup Forever lip liners and the Too Faced Perfect Lip lip liners are my favorite. The nude one is my favorite nude lip liner ever. But let's talk about lipstick. This, this lipstick, out of all the lipsticks I own, this is my favorite lipstick hands down. This is the NARS Audacious Lipstick in the shade Raquel, which by the way, the NARS Audacious Lipsticks are my favorite high-end lipsticks. They're 20 times better than the YSL lipsticks. I love them. I, they're the best. They're very pricey. They're $32, but I think the YSL ones are that same price and they're nowhere near as good. Like, nowhere near. It looks like I barely touched this because I literally just like to dab this on my lips and I'm good to go. It's my perfect nude. Like it is my perfect nude. The Audacious lipsticks have the best formula I've ever tried in a lipstick. And I wanted to mention my favorite high-end liquid lipstick because I feel like that is what I use most often if I'm gonna be honest. So I have a top three favorite high-end li liquid lipsticks and it is the Dose of Colors ones, the Girl Lactic ones, and then the Ofra liquid lipsticks. Those are my favorite, but I think that I might like the Ofra ones the best by like a hair. I'm wearing Miami Fever right now. Obviously, I love this one. Another one that I truly, truly love is Sao Paulo. This is like my perfect everyday liquid lipstick. I can literally wear this every single day. It's amazing. It's like a really pretty peachy nude. I love them. They do transfer a little bit, but I find that they are the most comfortable liquid lipsticks I've ever tried. I have a coupon code for Ofra, by the way. I will link that below. Okay guys, so that completes this video. These were my holy grail high-end makeup products. Leave me a comment down below what your holy grail high-end product is. And if I haven't tried it, I will check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Can't be weird in this video. It's a collab. You can't be weird. Who's there? Why I... Where's my... Where's my Too Faced primer? What the hell? So if I find that... Why? What? Oh, wait. Hey Cornelius, the only dog that doesn't bark. Highlighty type of product and FedEx just got here. My dogs are gonna go crazy. Oh my god, the postman got here and now my dogs are gonna go crazy again.